Hey guys, welcome to another video of Tech Lab. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can find and install your desired driver by using hardware ID. What is hardware ID? Hardware ID is the ID of the hardware you have installed on your computer. Sometimes it happens when you use a old computer or a new computer, Windows cannot find the driver required for the device. In that case, we have to find the device ID and with that device ID, we have to search for the driver and install that driver. It is uh, fairly easy, not that complicated. It happened to me when I used a old laptop or a old computer, the ethernet card was not working because of the driver. So I had to find the device ID. Then with that device ID, I had to download the driver. Then manually installing the driver, my ethernet port finally worked and I had internet on that laptop and desktop. So you see, it's really useful and it's going to help you to solve any driver related problems in your computer. So without further ado, click on the subscribe button and ring the bell icon. Let's go to the video. First open Windows search and search for device manager, open device manager. Here you see my display driver is not installed. I'm going to right click on the device and go to properties, then go to details then go to property, then go to hardware ID and then copy this PCI VIN number and copy. Go to your browser, open a new tab and search for the driver ID. Uh, so you see it recognized it as uh, Radeon R7 240. Now get into the first link, we are going to find out if it's really Radeon R7 240. Click Ctrl F to open find, paste the device ID here and it will highlight your device ID on this page. Open AMD website and then go down a little, select graphics, then Radeon R7 series, then R7 200 series, then R7 240 which is our graphics card. Then submit and it will show you the graphics card driver. I'm going to download Windows 10 64 bit version, then open it. Click install and install the software. By this way, you can find any device ID and install the driver very easily. So you see, you can find any device ID and with that ID, you can find the driver and install it in your computer and get rid of the headache. So guys, don't forget to like if you like this video and also consider subscribing and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next one.